My next video on the subject of CNC will detail CAD, CAM and machine operation and all the terms around it. But for now this is just going to be about the process of making this plane. I started off with some rough dimensions of a Kronov style plane I found online and put this into Illustrator. Once I had all the basic components sketched out, I took some time to refine the curves to get the shape I liked the look of. I then added in two holes for dowels to align all the pieces when it time came for glue up. I duplicated that layer and turned the second into the other part I'd need, two inside pieces. You might be wondering why Easel is skipping the bottom line. Well, with a recent update to Easel, it does a much better job of doing entire shapes rather than just a line. Unfortunately, I didn't properly join my line, so the SVG treated it as if it was two separate entities. To get the thickness I need for the width of the blade, I actually need three copies of the inside layers using 12mm plier. And since my plane blade is 34mm, not 36, I need to remove 2mm from the surface of one of those. Okay, so the plane is done. Unfortunately, it's uh, not great then. But this is one of the nice things about a CNC is that you've got the ability to quickly prototype something out. So I learned that there's a few issues. First off, I didn't make this opening here quite tight enough so the blade can go through. Now, eventually you do want that, but you generally want to sand down to it. So this would be okay for a very rough plane, but I'm going for something that's a bit closer to a smoother. Secondly, with just a single dowel in each section, it doesn't really help that stop from twisting. So uh, I need to remake that with two dowels in each section. And third, I actually made these uh, five mil holes instead of the six mil, which is the dowel that I've got. So I've updated my plans and I'm gonna print out a couple of templates, or well not templates, but test pieces to make sure that the shape is all right and the size is all right. I'm just gonna do that out of MDF because uh, I'm starting to run low on this particular type of load. I'm using a CPAP hose as my dust extraction hose. They're super flexible and it was free as my wife already had a spare one. I still need to make a mounting bracket and dust boot for it though. Big props to Steve Carmichael for that idea. I'm not sure it's a documented feature, but by using color shading, you can get a few interesting results in easel. White lines won't be touched, black will be cut out 100%. Anything in between will be automatically scaled. Gray line, for example, that's 60% blackness or opacity, whatever, will cut out 60% of whatever material you use. So say you've got plans that have that 60% cut out and you use it in 10 mil material, that, that's fine, that'll cut out 6mm down. Or if you use 20mm material, that'll cut out 12mm. It's a neat trick to get gradients cutouts working as well and was my primary issue I had with the easel clamps I talked about last time. Okay, so I didn't have any dowel 
larger than the 6mm dial, so I had to make my own just by turning it. I didn't end up drilling a hole uh, with the X card because I wasn't sure whether I'd be able to uh, get to the hardware store and buy another piece. So what I need to do now is figure out where the cross pin needs to go. To do that, I put my blade in, put the wedge in, and I want to put the wedge about there so it's got some room to move. So if I put the uh, cross pin that sort of position, I want to go a little bit away from the wedge so it's got room. So that's where I need to drill through on both side pieces. The other advantage of doing it this way is I can remove these pins, put the pins into the two side pieces and there'll be no tear out. Uh, I've got a essentially a half inch hardwood dowel uh, pin. Uh, so let's go drill that. made a stupid mistake here, you don't want to put glue on the two outside layers as you want to avoid getting any glue in the throat area of the plane. It's much easier to keep that clean if you just put glue on both sides of the inside layers. Alright, so the plane is nice and dry, but we need to true up the bottom and also uh, expose enough of a gap in the mouth so that the blade will come through. So at the moment it just doesn't quite poke through. So what we're going to do is install the wedge and the blade and just have them back a little bit from the edge of the mouth. And we're just going to sand. All I've got here is a marble chopping board, so it's nice and flat, with some 80 grit sandpaper tape to it. And I need to do a better job of taping. All right, I've got the sole of the plane nice and flat. It feels very smooth. Uh, you don't really need anything smoother than 80 grit, though uh, 120, 180 would be okay. Uh, I've also taken a rasp to the one edge just to smooth that over and eventually I'll sand that a bit smoother. And it just makes it a little bit more ergonomic than the harsh corners there. So, does it work? Let's find out. <coughs> Set a wooden plane blade and wedge in. Tap in the wedge, use a hammer to get the blade down. Oh, set that too far, so hold the uh, wedge with your thumb and just hit the back. It'll pop back up. Put the plane blade up a bit, put the wedge in. So a little bit more by feel than what a metal plane is. That's good, now we'll tap the wedge in. I'm not certain that a plywood wedge is the best thing, particularly on this poplar um, plywood. Something like a hardwood might be better for the wedges. There you go. This blade is only hollow ground, I haven't actually sharpened it yet, so that sort of result is okay. Not exactly smooth, but again, the blade's not sharpened, so uh, it's not the worst result. <clears throat> With that being said, I can see that there is a fair bit of uh, shaving getting caught in the uh, escape, so it's possible that I've got my pin positioned incorrectly or that the escape 
angle is too high. I'm thinking the pin's probably a bit high, so I might just file back the edge and see how that goes. If I was to finish this, I'd put a coat of boiled linseed oil on it and that's it, leave it at that. It doesn't need any finishes and anything film finish like that's not gonna help. Um, and unless you plan on submerging your hand line, it's probably not gonna make any difference. Thanks for watching.